Usually by now the kids are up, dressed, and ready, but I think they are extra tired <laughs> from the weekend. Olivia, we gotta go downstairs and start getting ready. Come on, we gotta go get ready. <laughs> are you just wanting to be sleepy? Believe me so <laughs> I just wanna go back to sleep so bad. <laughs> okay, maybe one minute. school morning routine and this morning is not our regular morning routine. Joel usually gets up and works out every single morning and this is the first day in how many months that you haven't got up and gone and work out? A long time. Like three months? Is that silly dad feeding you? <laughs> it's like you just transformed to a baby now. Goo goo ga ga. <laughs> goo goo ga ga. Everybody hates breakfast. Nobody loves it. Okay. Is your is your bed made? Mm -hmm. Is your bed made? Yes. Where did you put your dirty clothes? In the laundry. Where's your dirty clothes? On the floor? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, come sit down. Teeth brushed? Teeth brushed? Mm -hmm. So far since school has started, these are the steps that we take every morning. Some mornings go a little better than others. Where's my jacket? Where is your backpack? Did you leave it, or your jacket? Did you leave it at school? Is it in your backpack? There we go. Here is your jacket. Oh, I need a band-aid. Okay, we'll get one. Got Lincoln's backpack for him. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Olivia. Oh, that's Bye. so cute. We're hoping a little grasshopper so it doesn't die. Okay, set him on a leaf. Set him on a leaf. So that don't drop him. He's go. probably too cold. That is one sad. Grasshopper. Putting a blanket on the grasshopper. How nice. Hi, Lincoln. Did you just wake up, bud? While he's eating breakfast, I'll pull up the channel and check to make sure the video went up for today. And then I go into the videos and start putting in all the eye cards and making sure they're all good. All right, guys, we are awake. We are ready for the day. Joel is almost ready. I am going, oh, no towel, sorry. Let me find you one. Sorry, <laughs> I'm washing him. <laughs> it's a washcloth. <laughs> Sorry. You have to hurry and get ready because I am recruiting Joel to help me with something. Some of you guys have seen this box sitting in the background and you've commented on it. This is a FabFitFun fall box. I have been waiting to open this box. I haven't opened it yet and I am, so hey we match. 
Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to do this. FabFitFun is sponsoring today's video, and I'm so excited because I've seen a lot of people open these boxes around social media, so I'm excited to try it out myself. This is a seasonal subscription box. It comes four times in a year with full-size fashion, beauty, wellness, and lifestyle products in it. I want you to open it with me. I want to just see if you know what these products are and what they're used for. Are you up for that? What if I fail? So while Joel kind of scopes the box out, these boxes are $49.99 and I do have a coupon code that I will have in the description for you guys for $10 off your first box. Okay, go ahead. That's teeth whitening, but I read it. This is from Miami. It's cuticle oil. Is it? How do you know? Does it ready it to read it? it? It's a cute container that it comes in. Oh, check it out. Put your little rings on it. This is an eyebrow pencil. <laughs> an eyebrow pencil in red? Uh, it's, apparently it's lip crayon. I don't know. I still don't know. This is lotion or something, I think. Okay, well I have to see. Oh, okay. Oh, this is fun. I've never tried a mud mask. This is pretty self-explanatory, the belt, but it's really cute. Gym and juice bag. <laughs> There's some cotton nail wipes to go in your purse. This is the softest blanket I think I've ever felt in my life. So this is not a blanket. Oh, what is it? It matches your outfit. So roughing? <laughs> it's like a, um, Shawl? a oh. really large scarf. Is it a blanket scarf? I... <laughs> scarf blanket? <laughs> Freezable, microwavable, and reusable. Okay, that's kind of cool. They're valued at over $200 a box. So it's just a fun way to get full size samples of things that you might not have thought to purchase before. I will have my coupon code and all the information you guys need listed in the description below. So I have a lady in my neighborhood that just had a baby. I'm going to make a double batch of dinner tonight. I wanna make spaghetti because it's my favorite meal with some really good garlic bread and then cookies of course for her. I think there's treats here. Well. If there's treats here, we'll see, but it's okay if there's not. The first thing. <laughs> is this the first thing you see is treats over here? Mm -hmm. Maybe it might be fun to find a treat for the kids. How about you pick out one of these for each? That's kind of a small one. Mom, I will do one of these. No, I think we're gonna do one of these. Pick one out for each of the kids, okay? <laughs> Look, right here. You can either be happy and pick one of these for everybody, or, look at me, or you don't get a treat. Do you understand? Yeah, if I get one of these, is that okay? What do you think? Yeah, if it's okay. No, so pick four while I go find what I need. This is exactly what I need. I used to have a huge bag of clear gel, and when we were in the middle of our remodel, I like ruined the bag somehow. I think it like busted open, I'm sure. I got a lot more. Anyway, this is what I need because I'm gonna be doing um, peach pie filling today. That's what I'm doing today. I'm a little uh, anxious to see what Boston has chose over here. Did you pick four? Yeah. Let's see. One, two, three. So are we missing one? Is one for them? Yeah, let's find one. Actually, probably don't really need one for Lincoln, but we'll get one for Lincoln. I'll let you choose. This one was actually for me, but I get a green one for Okay, me. okay. The green one's for Cody, and the purple one's for Olivia, and this one's for Lincoln, and this one's for Cody. Update on the whole spider situation. We called the pest control people, and they told us that this year has been especially bad because we had a really wet winter, and then a really hot, spring, summer, and so going from one drastic to the other, they said that everyone has the same problem and that they're having to come and respray the homes. So we have someone coming to respray the house. In the meantime, we're just killing a bunch of spiders. I'm a little more sweaty than the last time I picked up the camera. I've been in the kitchen all day, so I made dinner for the lady in my ward. I made barely enough for the rest of us to eat. Thank you, and yes, we are totally eating on paper plates. Yes, because are. I have done the dishes more times than I care to today. We made peach pie filling. Can I show them real quick? Yeah. Oh, they're hot. Yep, peach pie filling. So we're just finishing bottling those. And we got a casualty. Oh, crud. Did the jar break? Yeah. The jar was hot. I don't understand why oh. it broke. Is it just seeping into everything? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah. All right. 
while everybody starts eating. The dinner table is sometimes where we have some meaningful discussions and we have something that we want to talk to you guys about. And it's not too big of a deal, especially where we normally post Monday through Friday. We record over the weekend and then we post the weekend's vlog on Monday. We are going to still continue to post Monday through Friday. My hand is shaking. The only thing that we're going to start doing that's a little bit different is we are not going to be posting directly the next day. Most family vloggers, at least in the past, have recorded on a Monday. They upload and post on a Tuesday. Chime in here anytime, Joel, but we've watched a lot of family vloggers get burned out. I come from a family of vloggers. I have five vlogging channels from my family. All five of my siblings vlog. Something that Ruby has done, Eight Passengers, is they record and they don't post for a week. So, you know, on the 4th of July, that's when a lot of people started noticing hers was, oh my gosh, you didn't post your 4th of July vlog for another week. There's so many different reasons why we feel like this is going to be a good idea. For our sanity purpose. Quality of content. Quality of content. When people get burned out, it's like, oh, we have to find something to vlog. We don't want to do that. We want to, and we want to fix things before. We like to call it preventative maintenance. Quality we've watched, <laughs> we've watched so many people go through this that we want to change it. And also, we're going to be traveling where we won't have internet again. <laughs> They'll still be in order of our lives, but it just might be a few days behind. Delayed to the calendar of events. That's yes. Going on. We'll get the hang of things and trial and error. We'll work together. We'll make sure that this is a smooth process. So we love you guys and we honestly appreciate you watching our videos. Thank you guys so much for supporting us, loving us. We love you guys um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.